Hi, Scorpio. Power and Light Tarot coming at you with a reading. Scorpio, this is behind the scenes on your person, all right? So this is a, a, a reading solely on them, really. I'm sure you'll be showing up, uh, Scorpio. Yes. And let's see what else, let's see what we have for Scorpio's person. And we're back to the detective work on them. Yeah, hacking their emails. Uh, you know, we're on their Facebook page. Yeah, they don't know we're there. <laughs> And uh, let's see what we have for Scorpio's person. Let's get some cards from the Wisdom, uh, the Spirit, Animal, Oracle deck. All right. Let's see what we have for Scorpio's person. We have the Snake Spirit, Time to Heal. Interesting. Okay, maybe that's for you. They look like they are healing, though. The Otter Spirit, you are never alone. Your person feels alone. You could maybe you're broken up with them. Maybe you guys uh, are taking a break here, but I feel like they feel alone with the otter spirit. You're never alone, and time to heal. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So let's see what we have, and let's use this deck. Let's just in all the cards here. I feel like they are all here. Let's see what we have for. Actually, I'm going to use this deck. I've already shuffled it. Let's see what we have for Scorpio person. Yep. Bottom of the deck is the Nine of Wands in the reverse. Somebody could be giving up because of a Sagittarian Seven of Swords. Temperance in the Seven of Swords. Uh, Scorpio, your person could be giving up because of a Sagittarian, or you are. Let's cut the deck. It looks, this looks like there's a breakup here. Nine of Swords reversed, Seven of Cups. Okay, the Nine of Swords reversed. They could be coming, they could have suspicions here, great suspicions here. They could be coming out of worry and anxiety, though. I feel like that's what they are doing with the Time to Heal card. Yeah, they're coming out of anxiety. In the near future, there's an ending and a new beginning for them. The Queen of Cups is in their, uh, in their concerns or... Or fears, and that's you. This is you, the Queen of Cups, Scorpio, showing up here. And they look like what's on their mind is making a decision. They have a lot of analytical cards here. They could possibly be an air sign. There could be Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini, because the Queen and the King of Swords are both in the reading. Yeah, there could definitely be an air sign here. And the Emperor is showing up, and we know that to be Aries. So let's see... Why they are coming out of this, uh, beginning to heal, coming out of anxiety. Yeah, they are. Three of Pentacles. Seven of Wands. Your person could be, uh, I feel like they are defensive. They could be resisting something. I feel like they're defensive and they're coming out of some type of... They could be trying to protect themselves on some level or feel like they have to. Because the Seven of Wands is here and time to heal and you're never alone, right? They, they could feel defensive like they have to like uh, defend themselves. And the Seven of Cups is here and this is crossing them. I feel like they're making a really hard choice for change. Eight of Wands. The Queen of Swords is the reason why. Here they are discerning it. Yeah, they're making a choice here. They're doing it some type of a choice. They're taking their time, I feel like, making it. Why is the Queen of Swords there? Three of Swords. Or they are discerning a decision or a choice that has come about over time. Like they didn't just wake up and go, I'm going to do this. <clears throat> I feel like they were thinking about it. It has to do with a third party heartbreak and somebody from the past. Six of Cups. In the past, somebody could have felt defeated. There could have been chaos and conflict in a union. Five of Swords, Ten of Pentacles. And the Five of Wands. So there's a lot of fives here. Well, there's two fives together. It's crises, conflict, and change. And the Eight of Wands is here which is change. There's somebody's giving up on a union here because they're like choosing a third party. Wow. 
Three of Swords, Three of Pentacles, Seven of Cups. Making a different, difficult choice. These darn trucks that come down this private road. And they're noisy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not on a private road, you guys. No. I don't have that kind of money. <laughs> But there is a private road up the hill. Yeah, there is. Let's see what we got, you guys. It's called, exact. I think it is called Enchantment Way. Or the, like, the ending to the enchantment. Something like that. Cero. Cero Encantado. Something like that. <laughs> so let's see. Let's get back to the reading, Scorpio, about your person. Yeah, and they're in the King of Swords energy. This is what's crowning their thoughts or on their mind. Why is it there? Wow, Five of Cups, Magician. So what's on your person's mind is manifesting something new that's going to also bring a, a sad ending. The Five of Cups. And in the near future is an ending and a new beginning. The World card. There's like a divorce here and a reunion with somebody. That's what this is. Why do they have the world? Ace of Swords. Death card. Yeah, see, an ending and a new beginning. Ace of this is an ending and success and victory both. Wow. In order to have success and victory, there has to be an ending here. Queen of Cups is going to be their concerns, and that is you, Scorpio. They feel like they don't know what to do. Like they're concerned about you, but they really don't know what to do. Two of Swords. Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. And this is going to be, you know, they're concerned, but they could know you don't know what to do about it too. Like you're, like you feel really stuck about it, restricted, at a stalemate. I feel like a stalemate is, is like a light word here. I feel like you feel really stuck here and I have no, like my hands are tied. Just like this lady with the blindfold. Like, I can't see my way out of the situation. My hands are tied. I'm just really stuck. And this is how they feel about that you feel, I feel like. And the emperor in the environment for them, Scorpio, your person, the eight of swords, they feel stuck and they have some fear. I feel like they could be this knight of pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, the strength card. In their environment, I feel like they have the courage to do something to do this. I feel like they're ending this union. You could be ending it with them, though. But they I feel like they are getting the courage here. At the same time, they still feel stuck about it. Yeah. Eight of Swords, Strength card, Page of Pentacles. It's about some type of a new start. With somebody from the past, Scorpio, the Six of Cups here. I'm going to find out all about your person on Vimeo, where the tell-all lives. They're all super affordable if you guys want to see uh, exactly what your person is up to over there. And we're going to talk about their true intentions, right? And what they're hiding, what they're fearing, how they feel, the challenges and the blocks between you guys and the underlying energies, right? I feel like there are underlying energies. Look at the Seven of Swords right here. Thank you so much for joining me, you guys. If you need your own reading, you can always get one, right? And uh, wishing you a ton of power and light. Don't f Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And hit the little button, the little bell, right, to kind of wake you up when I'm sending stuff. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys.